has everybody heard of a thing called the Beals List? The Beals List is a list of pirate or predatory journals. So in the world now, um, people are very smart. I, I remember we were talking about page costs. So we, we're moving from a model where you pay to read. You know, the, the library buys a subscription to, of the journal. And you go into the library and you can read that journal, the old, you know, paper-based. Then it moved to online, and, and you would buy the subscription and you could get the article downloaded online. Now, open access, free of charge. Everybody can read it. It's great. It gets your research out really quickly. Where did the publisher get the money from? Page charges. You pay to publish, not pay to read. So people, you know, Nature and all of those good journals, they use that model. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But there are people out there that see it as a money-making opportunity. So I'll set up a journal. It's just a website. You send me your article. I'll promise you peer review, but of course I won't do it. I'll just stick it on the website, and you'll pay me $100 to do that. So I'm making money. So Beale is, a, is a, an academic who started listing these journals. And they're called pirate journals. And, and what Ruloff is reminding us to do is not to publish in them. Because if, if they appear on your CV as uh, uh, your publications there, and people start to review your CV, they'll check it and they'll know they publish absolutely anything. There's no quality control at all. And so I'm coming now. I know one academic at WITS who had a bumper year of research. He really worked hard, and he published 15 papers. And then he discovered at the end of the year they were in Pirate Journal. And so they were lost. They were wiped out of his CV because they carry absolutely no value. You get an email. You, you've just finished your thesis. You get an email from... Um, it's, it's, it, the one that hits us often is a German company. It's supposed to be based in Germany. I don't know where it's actually based. But it says, we love your work, we want to turn it into a book, this is what you do. And, and, and it's absolutely a, a, a racket. It's a conundrum. I, uh, but, but I think what, what we're saying is, don't you publish in that. I mean, what you're talking about is a different situation. In a sense, you might be also quoting somebody's blog. That's not peer review, but it, it might have something of value. So I guess there is an, an essence. There.